Good morning, folks. Need something to get pissed off about this morning? There you go. The few decide for the many. Two days ago, I told you about poisoning waterways in India, leaving folks in crisis. Well, I had no idea how bad it was. It's a number of factors, and it's nationwide. Today, China is sending humans to the Changong Space Station. We wish you a safe flight, if nothing else. This is a neat little factoid-laden article about the furthest visible galaxy over 12 billion light years away. You may remember two days ago, we reported red tide in British Columbia. Well, that was up in a little stream tributary to the Vancouver area inlet from the Pacific. Now, this body of water now has an enormous red tide bloom. That's paralytic shellfish poisoning, folks. Please be safe. Hurricane Carlotta briefly hit Category 2 status yesterday before making landfall. She's weakened slightly, but tell that to the coastal residents dealing with the rain, flooding, storm surges, etc. She's taking her time to move on. Let's look at the induction magnetometer. Once again, we see this little multi-line resonance under 1 hertz frequency. We also see some faint readings a little higher, begging us to check out the BY and BZ. This is a good thing to do if you want to see things you might not be able to see so clearly on the BX plot. You can see here again, 1400 it begins every day. Punctual little bugger and still no big quake since this pattern began. The big blue circles indicate a brief surplus of cosmic ray bombardment lasting about two hours in the middle of the day yesterday, maybe a bit more. For the second day in a row, we have electrons and protons elevated ahead of major CME impacts coming. The yellow and the orange is how you'll tell when they hit. The slight deviation from flatline here was a spread out filament eruption from four days ago, which kind of pecked at us all day yesterday. But when the big ones hit any moment now, they won't look so flat. No eruptions or big flares yesterday, all those thin, dark lines on the left side are plasma filaments that pose eruption threat, and the star of the show right now, the primary active region, did give us a break yesterday, but she's active, morphing, pulsing ejecta, and has at least one delta spot. For those who want to check this out themselves, the more intermingled and jumbled the red and blue, the more dangerous it is, especially if they mix within one penumbra. Seriously, pre-sunrise is beautiful right now. As I move in one day jumps, we have a new moon in three days, and while Venus chases Jupiter up the sky, never quite catching him, they get real close by the time the moon comes around again. Magnetic storm watch is the focus today, folks. CME impact will be visible on the yellow and the orange and spikes any moment now. That's the news, folks. Be safe.